Hi everyone, how are you? My name is Tommy Gentile and I'm a studio signature artist here at the Wellis Studio in Los Angeles. So I'm starting my model Melissa's haircut. We're creating a new line. We're going for a huge transformation, bringing her length up considerably. So I'm starting by creating a fresh new perimeter and a new line for her in her haircut. I'm gonna be working at zero elevation with comb tension and that's gonna provide a little bit of softness to my line. But I'm beginning with her line first because she has a finer density of hair and a finer texture. So I wanna create a more solid line um, for her as opposed to starting with my layers first and working to my line I would be creating a much softer result with a lot less weight in that line. And doing so first before working to my layers will help me create that. So I've established my perimeter line through the back and now I'm working through the sides. So I'm just gonna make sure that my model's head is turned to the side, freeing up the workspace and taking her shoulder out of the way. We wanna be mindful though of the client's chin position. Typically when we ask people to turn their head to the side while keeping their shoulders straight, the knee jerk reaction is to drop the chin and that would throw off my line. So we just wanna make sure that the chin is level, it's not up, or down, but just in a neutral position. And also I like to just make sure as I'm working over the ear that I'm allowing a little bit of flexibility for the ear's protrusion. So I like to give a little tap to release some of that tension. So we've completed Melissa's haircut transformation. Now it's time to transform her color. So we're gonna be working towards a very lived in balayage look today. But in order to get sufficient lift, I'm gonna be working with a foil technique. So this will be kind of a blend of balayage and foils. I'm gonna be working with two separate formulas using our Blondor Plex Lightener. So that is our Blondor that you know and love with the added benefit of having your Wellaplex number one bond maker built right in. I'll be using one formulation on her regrowth and another formulation for all of her tip outs and to really get those ends nice and bright. We're not looking for a huge all over transformation with her color. I'm gonna be focusing mainly around the face, really brightening up that face frame section and creating a beautiful pop or a really nice money piece. And then we'll be creating some nice dimension in through the back. So I can't wait for you guys to see the final look. We're gonna get started. Here is Melissa's finished look. As you can see, we created a major transformation. We brought her perimeter line up, made things a lot shorter, flattered her face shape with a beautiful face frame, and we created lots of movement and reduced some weight with a beautiful soft concave layer. And then to complement her new haircut, we had to do a great color service for her. So we did a foliage application using Blondor Plex, and then I toned her in a color melting application and I melted together five stroke one with 1 1.9 developer in a one to two mixing ratio at her root into seven nine seven and nine stroke nine seven on her mid lengths and ends, giving her this beautiful soft beigey sandy tone that really complements her complexion and really flatters the dimension that we created. I hope you guys enjoyed the look. Be sure to follow us at The Wella Studio and you could follow my Instagram page at Tommy.Wella for more helpful pro tips and color inspiration.